Hey guys, Benny Brooks here. Before we start today's video, I just really quickly wanted to say I don't know what happened to my audio files, but when I was editing, somehow they got like corrupted or something. Uh, so it's going to sound a little bit gravelly. Nothing to worry about though, it shouldn't affect uh, your enjoying of the video at all. In fact, it just adds a little character, so yeah. And make sure to watch till the end of today's video because it's a pretty cool video. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Yo, what's going on guys? Benny Brooks here and welcome back for another video. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my custom LEGO Super Mario Galaxy Honey Hive expansion set. If you go on to enjoy today's video, make sure to subscribe and also like the video. It means a lot to me and it helps out my channel so much. Huge shout out to this subscriber for being the first comment on one of my last videos. Remember, if you guys want a shout out in one of my future videos, try to turn on my notifications and also be the first comment on one of my future uploads. If you guys don't want to put in all that effort and do that much work, Make sure to comment down below your ideas for future LEGO Super Mario sets and you could have a chance for a shout out in one of my future videos when I try to make that custom set. So here it is. A lot of people have been wanting me to do a part two to my LEGO Super Mario Galaxy custom set. So I decided, you know what, what the heck, I'll, I'll put in the effort and I'll make this set. Especially since we got the B Mario power up pack revealed. That is coming August 1st. I cannot wait for that. That power up actually came from uh, the Honey Hive Galaxy in Super Mario Galaxy. Galaxy, so I also wanted to make this set because of that reason. So yeah. All right, with all that stuff out of the way, let's just jump right into the first character in this set. So I have to admit to you guys, the character section in this set is a little bit on the weaker end. I know Honey Hive Galaxy is full of a bunch of different uh, minifigures, or not minifigures, but buildable figures like the bee guards and the bee queen and some different enemies. But the first enemy that we have in today's video is the Octumba. Now I included this enemy for a beatable character for Mario to defeat uh, that had to be kind of simple because in Honey Hive the main enemy that Mario is facing is the water because if you get wet in water the B power up gets taken away from Mario. So I just decided to uh, include an Octumba. Now I've included an Octumba in a few of my different videos. I'm pretty sure he was in one of my custom minifigure series and also in my original galaxy video. I actually updated him and made him have a bigger little ball antenna thing on top of his head. He also has some custom prints for the sides of him just for some circles and details. And he also has one custom print for his eyes, which I really like. He also has an inverted stamp piece for his little mouth area, which I really like. And he just has one regular two by two Mario feet piece. The interactive sticker is on the back of him. And that's pretty much it for this character. Let's move on to the other character in this set. Okay, so the other character in this set, which is going to be a surprise to a lot of you guys, is actually Yoshi. Now, here's why I decided to include Yoshi. I wanted to include Yoshi because in Honey Hive Galaxy, Mario is kind of welcomed in the galaxy very friendly. Like, he doesn't have a lot of enemies to face or, like, a lot of stuff like that. And I couldn't wrap my head around how to make any of the bee guards that he talks to or anything like that. Since this is also based off of the Honey Hop Galaxy from uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2. I decided to include Yoshi because he is also from Super Mario Galaxy 2, and it's kind of like a reference to the original start of the game where you uh, kind of go to like the Yoshi's Galaxy and see Yoshi there, and it's super cool. So yeah, there is like an interactive tile on the course that you can say hello to Yoshi to. The Yoshi is the exact same Yoshi as the one that comes in the Mario and Yoshi's house set. is the exact same build and everything. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this character. Let's move on to the build for this set. So I know I said the character section was a little bit weak, but I think the build definitely makes up for that because the build for this set is very, very cool, in my opinion, of course. I spent a long time researching this video and like trying to make it as best as I could, and I honestly think that this video turned out amazing. Let's start from left to right. So the first little area is the star bits area. Now this is kind of where you start off your course. Uh, you can see that there is a few star bits, which are like the coins in the game, uh, sort of. Just laying on the ground, we have a green transparent rock piece for the green star bit, a purple transparent rock piece for the purple star bit, and the same for the orange transparent piece. You can see that interactive tile there, and that actually gives Mario, uh, like, the star bits, but it gives them to him like coins, which I really like that interaction. Moving on from there, we see a little nice flower in the water. Now you can also see to the side of that, there is a bunch of different nice uh, array of flat tiles. Those are actually supposed to be some rocks. You can see some nice quarter circle pieces 
and also a little heart. You can also see there is a bunch of different flat tiles that make up the flower. I really like how that looks. Sadly, when Mario steps on the uh, flower, he would probably be stepping on sand because of his sensor thing. So yeah, moving up from there, we can see the first little part of the bee mountain. You can see that there are some nice blue flowers just laying on the ground. I really like how that looks. It's just like a nice little field. Now you can also see to the side of that, we have another reference to Super Mario Galaxy. So here is a little plant. And if you don't, and if you haven't played uh, Super Mario Galaxy, you won't exactly know what plant this is. But basically what happens is Mario goes to the plant and he like swivels around on it and he ends up launching himself off of the plant. So I just kind of uh, referenced that and added two little inverted plant pieces that are kind of stuck to each other. And I really like how it turned out. I think it looks really amazing. You can also see above that we have a little uh, like acrobat chain thing for Mario to hang on. Now you can actually have Mario grab onto this only it would be like really flimsy because Mario is so heavy this is mostly just for some uh, just like a reference it's not really like an interaction I was going to make it a little longer and put an interaction tile on it but I didn't really like how it looked anyways yeah you can also see on the wall there we have a bunch of different honeycombs now Mario can actually stick to those and I really like how that works it's not a perfect red color so Lego would probably put out an update for Mario to be able to be wearing the B power up pack and also stick to the honey and get like extra coins or something. Lego would probably find a way to make Mario interact with these individually because orange is kind of a different tint than red, but I don't know how that would pick up on Mario's sensors. Anyways, moving on to the next platform, we actually move to the far right of the set. Now we can see that this is just a coin block just for the more interaction, the better, you know. Mario would get a random power up or like uh, some extra time or some coins or something from that. You can also see a brown regular block sitting right next to that, which I really like. And yeah, this is just kind of sitting on a hill next to the big huge hill. So moving up from the smaller hill, we can see the first little landing pad. Now this actually has where Yoshi is. Now you can see that the Yoshi interaction tile is just sitting right there. Now Mario can scan that and get some coins from that, so that's pretty cool. And also there is like a little mud area for him to hang out at. You can see that there is a little path coming from uh, where the honeycombs end up at. And you can see on the wall there, there is another honeycomb for you to get up to the very top of the mountain. Now this is a reference to the Honey Hop Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy 2. How there's like honeycombs everywhere and Mario can stick to them, especially up like the mountain. But I really like how it looks, and I didn't want to make two separate videos on two different galaxies, so I kind of just compacted all of the different B Mario stuff into one big set, and I really like how it turned out. So at the very top of the mountain, you can see that there is four more star bits, two purple ones, one green one, and one orange one. You can also see that the interaction tile is just sitting right there, so Mario can get some even more coins from that. You get a lot of different star bits in this set, which I really do like. You can also see that there is a bit of honey there. Now that is where you can set up your Octumba. You can also set him up down by the coin block as well. Or basically anywhere. I mean, you could put him by the flower or just anywhere. Anyways, yeah, you can see that there is one circular transparent tile and there is one solid orange. And yeah, that's pretty much it. There is nothing really around the mountain that we need to discuss. So let's move on to the packaging and then my final thoughts. Okay, so here is the box for the set. Now you can see it is called the Honey Hop Galaxy. I have no idea why I called it that and not the Honey Hive Galaxy. Uh, I guess I was just in editing mode. I also forgot to include Mario on the box. I had like a B Mario to put on the box and everything and I just kind of forgot. The set number is 40514. It has 512 pieces. And honestly, I really like how this uh, box looks. I know LEGO would never do this, but they I put uh, LEGO Super Mario Galaxy instead of just LEGO Super Mario on the box for the logo. You can also see it on the sides as well. Sadly, there is only two characters in the set. Now, if LEGO were to actually release this, they would release a ton more characters with the set probably. Probably a lot of exclusive ones as well. You can also see it says Expansion Pack. There is a Choking Hazard logo on that as well, and it says Expand Your Starter Course. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the box. Let's move on to my final thoughts, and yeah. Okay, so my final thoughts for today's video. I really enjoyed making this. It was a ton of fun uh, just going through a bunch of different clips from Super Mario Galaxy and hopping on my old Wii and like taking a look at Super Mario Galaxy 2. It was really fun researching this video. 
and really nostalgic to me because I grew up with the Super Mario Galaxy games. I love the inclusion of a different type of coin system, which is like the star bits. I think that LEGO needs more uh, different interactions, you know, not just getting it from characters and item blocks and time blocks. Uh, but yeah, I think that the character section in the set is pretty weak. I could have included some different stuff and I can think of more builds that I could include. But I think for uh, just 512 pieces, there is a lot of different references to Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2 in this set. And I really, really like how it turned out. Let me know what you guys think about this though. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would totally pick this up or if you would skip out on it. Let me know what characters I could have included, and yeah. With all that stuff out of the way, I do want to mention really quickly that I do have an Instagram, and I post some stuff on there as well, so please, if you want to support me in any extra way, there is a link in my description. It would mean so much to me if you just go check it out. Alright, with all that stuff out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Alright, see you guys later. Bye!